Well, hey guys, hey, silver and gold have been on a roll the last couple days. Uh, gold's at 1439.50 right now, and uh, silver's at 34.91. So we're ever so close to that $35 mark. And um, I was reading an article today on uh, how fast these silver, the American Silver Eagles are selling. Um, they sold 908,500 during the last uh, seven days. And they, they've topped um, 2.6 million for the month of February, which brings it over 9 million for the year. So these things are really moving. And keep in mind, these are not the only silver coins that the U.S. Mint sells. There's some uh, Army commemorative coins. There was the um, National Park coins. Uh, they're all sold out of those. They were 33,000 each. Um, so there's other silver proof sets and coins that the uh, U.S. Mint has been selling. So they're moving those as well. So it's not just Silver Eagles, although they've been selling the fastest because obviously the investors want Silver Eagles. But uh, I think that's really indicative of what's going on. Um, there's a great big hunger to hold the silver in your hand. I think the um, people are starting to shun paper. Uh, there's always going to be the traders who want the paper because it's easy to trade, but uh, I think that's what's going on here. And obviously there's still great demand overseas, and uh, there's still industrial demand as well for the silver. But um, oil today it was already over $102. And um, obviously when oil is up, when energy costs go up, it costs more to, for everything, food. It even costs more to mine uh, the metal out of the ground and to produce the coin. Energy affects everything, the price of everything. So you can figure that the, the, the high energy premium will at some point be figured into the price of um, obtaining your metal, which is going to cause the price to go up. So if you already own some, your, uh, your metal's gone up in value. And um, obviously the Middle East is still in, in shambles. There's still, uh, we got U.S. warships, I guess, moving in. There's a lot of uh, uncertainty there. Um, I, I personally think that if, if silver hits 35, uh, there's definitely going to be some profit taken at the end of the week. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have the crystal ball, but I would think uh, 35 is really that psychological um, point right now. And if it hits that, I think there'll be some profit taken, and then obviously it'll, uh, the demand will pick right back up because anytime the price goes down a little bit, people jump right back in and, and drive it back up. So. That's that's fine. That's that's all all's good, and um, I'll uh, I'll put a link to the article that I'm reading here below. I'll put it down. If you have a comment or anything you want to leave, just leave it below. Take care.